back. A push is underway to bring power back to the states. A growing number of legislatures across the county, or country rather, are working on resolutions they say gives local government a louder voice and protects rights found in the Constitution. This weekend, that push is getting attention here in northern Michigan. I would say, you know, the old adage that we've all heard, the only thing necessary for evil to win in the world is for good men and women to do nothing. And doing nothing just Ralph isn't in the cards for uh, Ralph Reeves and, and Bruce Finlayson. We're drawing a line in the sand. We're not going any farther. And we, we have to get back to our constitutional rights. They are firm believers in the Constitution of the United States and believe that the country and the federal government have drifted away from what our forefathers intended. You've seen the increasing scope of the federal government getting involved in, in what ought to be states' issues. Protecting and returning power to the states is a fundamental principle for the Convention of States Organization. It's a movement to rein in what we believe is an out-of-control federal government that is um, threatening our freedoms and abusing the U.S. Constitution as written. Founded more than a decade ago, the Convention of States calls for proposing amendments that will impose fiscal restraints on the federal government, limit its power and jurisdiction, and impose term limits on its officials and members of Congress. The founders recognized sooner or later the federal government would become tyrannical, if you will, and they gave the states the option to have a convention by, them state, by themselves to propose amendments to control the federal government. They point to Article 5 of the Constitution, which gives states the power to call a convention to propose constitutional amendments. But in order to do that, it takes 34 states to call the convention. 19 states have passed the exact same resolution. Michigan has not. It was introduced years ago, but made no progress in Lansing. Bruce and Ralph hope that changes. If government gives us our rights, they can take them away. And so... Karl Marx said if you can erase a nation's past, you can take it anywhere in the future. But they're hoping for a future based more on the past and what they think our founding fathers intended. The government is best that's closest to the people. Bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. do not know what's good for the state of Michigan, Traverse City, et cetera, et cetera. So if you believe that, and we can hold our local representatives accountable much easier than those in Congress and the bureaucrats.